In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to make this beautiful chapter title animation in PowerPoint that I've used in many of my videos. You can make it entirely in PowerPoint and also include the transitions to your content or images afterwards. It is easily customizable for any chapter title. You can modify the content, the progress bar in just a few simple clicks. Let's start from a blank slide and we're going to give it a different background color. So right click format background. And here we want to select a nice type of blue. You can choose any color that you like. Now we're going to add the elements. First is a text box. So we're going to drag that and then I'll type in the title 01 and then you can do chapter title. You can add any of your content that you want. I'm going to center it in the middle and make it white and the font we're going to change to Avenir next and then let's change it to a bold sub font. We're going to increase the font size to let's try 75 and then increase it just a little bit and center it in the middle. Maybe a few ticks smaller, I think 66 will look nice. Next, we're going to add a shape and we're choosing the rounded rectangle. We're going to drag it underneath the title and we're going to increase the roundness completely. So you can make it larger and then select the roundness and then you can make it smaller again. Let's do it equally on both sides. There we go. Now we're going to remove the outline and I'm going to give it a white fill. If you want to position everything in the middle, you can always select both elements and then align, align to center to have everything centered. We're going to hold control shift and drag to create a copy. We're going to position it on top and this one we're going to make it dark blue. Now we can adjust the length and we can position it, let's say around here, 10% so that the bar or the progress bar is partially filled. You can easily reposition anything you want until you have a layout that you like. Now we're going to add a small text box with the percentage. We're going to do 10%, make it white, and let's use the same font, but we're going to use a lighter sub font. So we're going to choose ultra light. Center it in the middle and maybe make it about font size 16. I think that looks nice. Then position everything as you like it. I'm going to do it just like this. I think that looks good. Maybe the font size can be a bit bigger. There we go. That looks good. Now we want to animate the components. So we're going to select the title first. We're going to the animation step. And here we want to look for an animation that fits nicely. We want to have this sort of fly in effect, but letter by letter. So we're going to choose for the peek in option. And here you can see everything comes in at once, which is also good. But if you click on the animation pane, we can have multiple options. So we're going to look at text animations and then we're going to select it by letter. And let's preview now again. And this way everything flies in nicely letter by letter. You can see that it sort of overlaps with the other elements. If you want to remove that, there's a simple thing you can do. You can add a shape, a rectangle, and we're going to add a rectangle right here over the other objects remove the outline and we're going to give it the same color as the background then of course we want to send that letter or that a number percentage number to the front and that way if we preview it again it will sort of start from behind that box and i think it looks just a little bit cleaner we're going to select the large progress bar go to animations and here we want to add an animation a wipe animation effect options and let it start from the left so that it wipes from the left to the right. We're going to do the same for the other one and also change that direction from left. This way we have everything nicely in order. And the last thing to animate is the percentage sign. And for this one, I'd like to use just a regular fade in animation. Now we're going to add some timings so that you don't have to click and it will all happen at once or on one click. The title, let's keep that as a click for now. And then the rounded rectangle, we want to start it with previous, with a short delay. So we open the timing step and let's do 0.1 seconds. Same with the next bar. We want to start with previous and have a 0.2 second delay. Same for the text or the number with previous. And we want to change that to 0.3. And now let's preview what we have already. And here you can see that as soon as you click, you get all the elements on your slide. If it feels a little bit too fast, you can also change that. You can select one of the elements 
and then change it to either one second or you can customize it to 0 0.75. Let's put everything to 0 0.75, just a little bit longer. And then we can select the first one here for this doesn't need a delay at all. Let's see what that looks like. And as soon as we click, we have the text appear as well as the progress bar. Now this already looks pretty good. If you want to animate out, that you can also easily do. And for that, we're going to add some more animations. So we're going to select the title, go to exit effects. And here we want to select peak out. And then that animation can go to the bottom. That is correct. Select letter by letter. And it can happen on a click. So if we play that, it will appear downwards. Timing, maybe set that to the 0 0.75. We do the same for the others. This one can be a fade out. And then both of the lines, we will also give them a, a wipe effect to the left this time. So from right. And then also here we can make sure that we set everything with previous. So that only the first animation will start, the chapter title will trigger everything, and then all the rest will follow. And let's see what that looks like. And now if we click once, we have the title appear. And then if you click again, everything will nicely disappear. Now the way I use it in my videos, it also kind of shrinks entirely. So if you want that, you add a new slide. I'll remove the content. And then you can easily add a transition and use that shape transition. And we can do that here as well and add a blank slide in front of it. It could be a blank slide, it could be a picture, it doesn't mean anything. And then if you preview, You'll see that as soon as you click, you get that nice flying effect and then the animation will start. Click again and then everything will disappear. And if you transition, it will go to the blank slide or to your content. It could be an image, it could be anything in the background. Let's go to insert icons and look for some stock images. I'm just going to take a random one here. Make sure that it fills the entire slide. And I'll use that one as a end slide. We click. We have the blue screen, we have the title appear. Then once you're done explaining, you can click again, title disappears, and then you move to your content slide. And of course you can easily duplicate the slide. Let's say you want to add an extra chapter and you just name it chapter two. Maybe that goes to 20% and then you can just adjust the bar here. And all the animations will stay exactly the same. Also, if you want to format the background, you can, for example, take a red as an example. Then don't forget to take or to change this color as well. You can also change the bar here. Let's maybe make that lighter. Let's try something different. Go to more colors and stay in that red pinkish tone. I think that will look a lot better. And now let's duplicate this as well as an example. And also add a transition to this slide. That is correct. Now let's preview and see what the entire presentation looks like. So today we have learned how to make this nice chapter title animation, whereas if you click, you get the nice in animation. And if you click again, it will disappear and also transition to the slide. You can easily customize it for any of your titles. You can add multiple titles. You can change the progress in the bar as well as move on to content slides or images in the background. So it's a pretty cool animation that I've used in a lot of my videos. And now you know how to do it as well. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.